here. Let me introduce you, Issa Sa, uh, Orlando Pirates are holding midfielder, also a man who's played with the national team of Senegal, called up by this coach, in fact. Uh, Issa, welcome to Sport of 10. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm glad you made it, man. I mean, uh, how was the weather out here getting here? <laughs> oh, it was very bad. <laughs> you nearly didn't make it? Yeah. Was it really that bad? Yeah, very bad, very bad. What yeah. did you see out there? Yeah, was the river was uh, blocking the route there. We couldn't go. I couldn't reach home. Impossible. Yeah. Swim, Isa. Get to, just yeah, shoot, uh, shoot, shoot. Since the morning, I couldn't get home. Impossible uh, to get there. No. Let's talk a little bit about Senegal. Your home. Where are you from? I don't even know how to say the name of your town. TS? No, they say TS, but me, I'm from Dakar. You're from Dakar, but, yeah, the, but my, then, where did TS come from? TS is my village, like. Uh, it's where we come from, mm. but me, I born in Dakar. Yeah. But my family is born in chess, from chess. And then you decide at what age that you're going to play football and eventually end up in South Africa. What was the story? Yeah, the story was uh, I was uh, I was at school. My my family don't want I play soccer. Mm. They want uh, maybe someone in the office. I was good at school. I went to university. Four years after, I decide by myself. Now I talk. I have to talk my family and have to play soccer. And then you, ha ending up in South Africa, you yeah. know, it's not common for Senegalese players to come here. Yeah, it's true, because I went in overseas and after uh, it didn't work, but I was having something uh, uh, maybe after six months. Now my agent said me, come to Chipa and help them for six months and you go back. Mm. And there I come to help Chipa and from there a lot of team want me, four or five teams in South Africa want me. And there my agent say, why not, you can try here and see. You were called up by Coach Sise mm. to the national team. It wasn't long ago, 2015. Mm. Um, how did that go? Yeah, they know me from a uh, from national team in, in Senegal because I was playing in the local team. I was, uh, I was uh, the best player in the tournament West Africa. We play it there in Senegal. I was in the one of the best players in, in the tournament. And I was playing all, some of the players also was there. And uh, from there also I got a lot of contact. And uh, uh, when I play in Parade, if before Parade was playing in Chipa, Platinum, they're always watching me, but they say they are a small team. Mm. Yeah, I must have to a big team or must move to South Africa and go to overseas. Now I come to Parade and we do well in Africa. I was buzzing, now they say, hey, this boy is ready, for, is, is, is ready now for national team. Now they call me. Not an easy national team to get called up to. Yeah. It's very not, difficult to not become at all a in Senegal. Not at all in Senegal. I'm the one or two who play in Africa. Uh, yeah. Even now, the squad it, that's here in South Africa only has two players based in Africa, yes. and they're both the reserve goalkeepers. Yes, the one uh, we have, like a quarter in Senegal, we always have to take one or two players uh. from, from our leagues in Senegal. But the others was here long time. If play even that uh, Afghan that we, couldn't, uh, we didn't do well. That Afghan, he was here before a long time, more than five years in the national team. So, as we look at some of your performances that were instrumental in getting you to be with that national team, you weren't called up this time. Yeah, the coach was calling me. He always have a uh, touch with me. Even before the, the, the first game against uh, Kave, yeah. he called me. He said, you are pre-select, like we have maybe uh, 26 or 27 players. They they reserve now and they have to select mm -hmm. maybe 20. He called me, asked me about how I'm doing and everything is good. I said, yeah, but when the season start, I, I didn't start with the team. Mm. And in Senegal, if you're not playing, you're out. That is not performing, you're out. So that because you weren't playing team. in the Pirates team, you yeah, said, I can't really bring you to the yes, team now. Yeah, I have to communicate with you and tell you. Mm. It's how it work. It's a, it's a nice coach, it's a, it's no, you know what he's doing and it's very smart also. He's looking all over in the world, looking for players who can help him. Is how he's doing. So that's why you're not in this squad. Mm. You only just came into the team with Mushinetigal lately. Mm. So what can you tell us about the team that Sise has uh, selected for Saturday? What, are, what makes this team dangerous? Why are they number two in Africa? Yeah, you know, like uh, the coach is, uh, is a hard worker. Even you can see when he was playing in a uh, national team. Mm. Uh, remember coach Alun Sise, he was the captain. And, uh, is very hard worker. It's like uh, even his job. He don't take his jobs uh, like uh, lightly. Take it very serious. And uh, he was uh, in national team. We have like a target. It was what you wanted before first uh, top five first. And we get it now. He's looking for big uh, big three like in Africa. He's and already there, number two in Africa. Yes, and we don't take lightly our game. 
like even friendly is everything you don't take it light we have to go and we always have to win we don't even think about about uh, about draw or lose mm -hmm. and uh, other things also uh, the team like the how, how can i say like uh, the the most players you, you get them in uh, uh, he was coaching them in uh, in the olympic uh -huh. like most of them he was then he was second coach before he was like uh, an assistant for the olympic team yes so he knows them yes, from a long he time know from long time and from there he make it like uh, the spine i don't know who call it spine the, of the team like so if you hold six or five players was playing with him was his coach before five years before if i had to ask you mm -hmm. And maybe Shakes was sitting here as well, and you had to give advice. And you said, if there's one guy or two guys in this team that Bafana have to be most worried about, I think in Senegal you must worry about everybody. No, but it can't be. You everybody. know why? You know what I'm saying? Like us, we can we can score in the opening game, mm -hmm. and we can score in set pieces. That is the other thing. Set pieces. Set pieces, corner, and free kick, everything. But you we also score goals. I mean, look, I can show you goals that we've scored against Senegal. Have a look at these as I debate with Issa here. And Senegal also has been able to find the back of the net against us over the years that have gone by. It is a dangerous team. And one of the things that's a real strength of the Senegal team is the strike force. Sadio Mani is in this team, the Liverpool striker. He is here in South Africa. Everybody's mm. talking about mm. him. Mm. Is he the real danger? Yeah, he's the real danger. But uh, you know, like in Senegal, before was having one side was buzzing. But now you have another side with Jao Bell, the Keita, that other boy. Uh, so now, it's Mani and Keita that yes, we need to worry because, about. Yes, because us, we're not like focusing in, in the like, striker to score, like the number nine to score. Mm. They can score all of them. Mm. If you check our score, it's not only the number nine score; it's them, like the wingers. They come in and score. When you watch our game, also they are Sajo Manis. Every game you're gonna uh, uh, score and you're gonna assist also. There's also another is guy I'm a little bit worried about. Mm -hmm. Tell me about uh, Kalidu Kulibali at the back. Yeah, that one is. Uh, Plays for Napoli. Yeah, that one I can see is the boss of the he, team. He's the boss now. Yeah, he's the boss of the team. Uh, and uh, even Senegal, we say it is a king. Him is the king in the, is controlling everything. The in big centre back. Yeah, it's not the big centre back. The other big centre back is the Karamboch. Uh. The one with the. So what it, makes Kulubali the king? Yeah, because him like uh, he's not like exciting players. He's thinking, he's anticipate everything, he's tackling everything. Is like he's make it make sure everything is like proper. So everything. who do we have? Because you know the South African players. What do we have in the national team of South Africa that can destabilize what you're talking about? A king at the back in Kulubali. Uh, Mane up front is dangerous. You've told me about Keita, who's young and exciting. What can we bring to this game that can give us some advantage? Yeah, but if, if you watch South Africa, like in the Afghan, there was very like, uh, there was knocking the ball. Mm. There was playing South Africa football, mm. like uh, enjoying football, enjoying like doing whatever they're thinking. And it was all Africa know them. Was, everyone was talking about them. Mm. I think they must bring back that things. Just play the Just ball. Just playing the ball, like knocking Gassi around. Gassi flavor, uh, South African flavor. Yeah, what do they have? You can't like leave your strength. Senegal have their own strength. Big, and then they will strong. not gonna change it. They will not gonna change it. Mm. It's their football. Now for me, the way they was playing in Afghan, they must break. But if they're playing the same football like they was playing like in the last three games, I'm worried. What kind of football is that? What's, what's like, not working? Uh, there was not convincing. Uh. Like the last, last three games, I don't know. There was not, uh, if they come with that things, Senegal going to beat them, score. It's going to score. It's going to be two or three. That match? Yeah. So we must keep the ball, mm. play the ball like we normally do, enjoy ourselves. Yes. That's the advice that you have? Yeah, because if you give, if you give, give the ball to Senegal, what you, don't, what you support to do, if you don't do it, Senegal going to keep the ball and do it. That dangerous a team. Yes. Except I, I, when I look at Senegal and I say, but you know, we played them. It's been not a case of Senegal always beat South Africa. And it's also not a team that always goes on and wins tournaments. Senegal uh, have been, as much as they are a good nation in Africa, at the Africa Cup of Nations have only got to the final once in history and didn't win. Yeah, but it's true. If you see, like, uh, we, go to, we go to final in the Afghan against Mali. Mali beat us, I think. In a, in a penalty, and we go to quarterfinal World Cup. That's all you have. Mm. But it, that mistake we don't want to do anymore. That mistake we don't want to do it anymore. 
because if we have that coach, he didn't achieve a lot of things in football with national team. Is that hunger is bring back to the to the to, to the players to show them we didn't we couldn't make it, but you have that talent and you have that that hunger to, to, to make it. You know, and you're looking at some of the players in the Bafana squad here. Is there a key man for Bafana? A position that you think he needs to do very well on the day? Yeah, I think so. I think so. if uh, Makola plays game and uh, if, if, he, if he's shooting, maybe if he... But he's your teammate. Are you just saying that? No, just no, he's your no, no. Because if you watch our previous game, the last game we played in the Manson Mandela, uh, Nelson Mandela Challenge. Yeah. challenge for me, they didn't even expect him. Against Ghana? Uh, no, against Senegal. Oh, that last, that last oh, game, against you Senegal, beat us 1-0. Okay. Yeah. They didn't, for me, they didn't expect Makola. Because as we watch video, watch everything, watch what is your strength, what is your weakness, everything, watch it. But that time, Makola was not in the national team, uh, mm. like he was not like regularly. They didn't watch him properly. That's why he's shooting from far. I think if you bring that, that, uh, that this range, maybe going to disturb. But we also have... Yeah strong player like Gekana, we can be physical, can we not take the physical game to Senegal, try and be strong and, and <laughs> tackle and hard? <laughs> but you can, I, I, I can tell you, Senegalese players, the tip, you know the typical players, is strong. Uh. We are strong. Senegalese, all of them, they are strong. Tell me one is not strong. Even Sadio Man is very strong. He's very strong. He can dribble and fast and he, he uses his, his body. Mm. He's very strong. Don't, don't tell me about strong, tell me about football. <laughs> they must play. If they want to be really Senegal, they must play. They must play football. And when you listen to what's coming out of Senegal, remember, only one team comes out of this group to qualify for the World Cup. Mm. What's happening in Senegal now? Do they really believe that this is the team to take them to uh, the World Cup in Russia? Is there a demand at home that they like we want our team to go. Yeah, for me in Senegal, we don't put pressure on the, on the, on the, on the team. We don't put pressure on no one. But we know the, the players are serious. They know what they want. They know where they're going also. You understand? It's not the, even the, 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 the fans who fix, who fix like target. Mm. It's the players who fix their own target and the coach. We have a secret weapon. Our new man, Lars, the big tall man up front. You've seen a little bit about him, you've heard a little bit about him. Can we not hurt them with our new secret weapon? Yeah, for me, one player can make difference. Can't. It's the old team who can, who can, who can make difference. It's not only one player. And what I, right now, what I was telling you, us is not our number nine who's scoring. Everyone can score anytime. Uh. But you tell me about one man can make, can make the difference. For me, one man can make, you need the old team behind him for me. Well. I've mentioned Lars uh, Feltbake. We'll find out a little bit more about him after the break. Issa, thank you very much for thank taking you, the time. I you. appreciate it. You took your time out of the rain. You came out of uh, all sorts of problems, training, all of that, just to give us an insight. What's your score prediction for the weekend? Uh, it's going to be a uh, 2-0. One going to be free kick. The other one's the opening game for Senegal. No, man. I didn't bring you here to tell me Senegal's going to win. But I quite carefully, I said one's going to be free kick, like corner. And but not you, you, the how can you come open. here and tell us Senegal is going to win? But I'm proud to be Senegal. I like South Africa, but you, I'm but proud to be Senegal. But you come here and tell us Bafana is going to win. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm telling the truth. <laughs> what I, is my, 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 my thing, my thought. Too little. Say, yeah, ah, you're never coming back to the studio. <laughs> Thank you very much, Isosa, <laughs> for your honest opinion.